The Portuguese revolution is set to begin at Nottingham Forest as Nuno eyes up his first signing. Welcome to your Forest Transfer News. Good yeah, morning, good evening or good night. Hope you guys are doing well and welcome to your first transfer news of the January window. And we will be talking about Nuno. We don't talk about Nuno. No, we do talk about Nuno. Hope you guys are doing well. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to Forest Fan TV if you are new. And let's talk about the Portuguese winger that's being linked with Nottingham Forest. All right, so the link to Nuno's first signing is, of course, I'm sure you may have may not have heard it already, is Gelson Martins from Monaco. Now, let me tell you a bit about the player. 28 years old from Cape Verde. Yeah, we've got history with that country, haven't we? Um, pacey, pacey winger. Very skillful, but also doesn't have much strength at all. And he's had a bit of fall from grace. He was starting in, obviously, Portugal at Sporting. Before, well, before that, he was at Benfica, but ended up at Sporting working his way through the ranks and then moved to Atletico Madrid in a big money move. That did not work out at all for him. In fact, within about six months, he was then shipped on loan to Monaco, and that very soon became made permanent. And just to give you the stats on it, at his time at Atletico, he played eight games and scored no goals. And then at Monaco, he's had 87 games and 11 goals and some assists as well. Now, is he good? I'll always be honest with you guys. Two years ago, if you told me Gelson Martins was being linked with Nottingham Forest, I'd have been back flipping all over the place. He was the in player. You had teams like Liverpool and even Spurs up until last year, very interested in signing him. But he hasn't kicked a ball for Monaco since February last season. And he's not even training with the first team squad. And I still have reminiscence of watching him play in his early days at Monaco. And I still see the player in there. But am I convinced he is the one? Neo. Not really. I'll be honest with you. But I do like him. Um, how can I describe him best to you? If I was to liken him to a current player, that maybe because maybe some of you guys haven't seen Gelson play before, probably say someone like Rodrigo from um, from Real Madrid, something like that in terms of his physique and frame and what he can deliver on the pitch. Now he's not as good as him, uh, probably a bit more skillful, but in terms of that physique, he it's, he's just not bulked out over the years. He's twenty eight years old, and the honest answer is I think he's past it. But the news on him is that he's got six months left on his contract. He has been told by Monaco that he can go. He's had links with Russia and with the MLS. Um, nothing major. But his preferred destination is, of course, the Premier League. Now, I, I don't know. I don't want to undersell him and I don't want to oversell him. I'm trying to find some happy medium at the moment because this one does look like it's close. And the thing is, with six months left on his contract, you're probably looking at a fee of, I would say, max about a mil to two mil to bring him on board. So he's not a risk. And if Nuno can do to him what he's done to Chris Wood and rekindle his career, then we do have a hell of a player. He's a winger, um, predominantly plays on the right hand side, but can play on the left hand side as well. Heavily right footed. And I'm very good at dribbling and taking on a man. And it's kind of, you can see some of the logic behind it. It's the type of player we need. We're dry on, on wingers at the moment. And subject to, I don't know, Dennis being brought back in. We've only really got Callum hudson Adoy, um, and Alanga and technically Origi in the squad who can play it as wingers. So you do understand the logic behind it in terms of bringing through someone who can provide width pace a bit of trickery and pace to burn. Now, I would say he's actually got slower over the last couple of seasons. And I think that his finishing has never been one that's impressed me. You could, you could kind of say he's an older version of Alanga, but just not quite as physical as Alanga. 
and probably a higher footballing IQ than Alanga. It's like he's got some of the good bits of Alanga and then he's got some of the bad bits of Alanga and then he's got a bit more sprinkled on top of it. So look, you can tell by my tone, he's not top of my list. I want Jota. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Jota is linked to Forest. We'll do a different video on that. And no, I'm not talking about the Liverpool Jota. But for me, I get it. It's very risk-free, but he's not top of my shopping list. Now, does this tell us something else about the transfer budget? If Forrest are going for these coming out of contract players, is this meaning that we haven't got a lot of money to spend? Well, logic would dictate that we probably don't unless we can offload some players. On top of that, we are expecting more out than in in this January transfer window. I would say we'll probably get three to four max in. And there'll be wingers, maybe a striker, maybe another goalkeeper, and obviously um, Nino, who's coming in from Brazil. So we're going to have to generate money to, to make money to sell play, uh, to buy players. And that's probably what we're going to see. I think we're going to see a very busy transfer window, but one where Forrest are trying to do a lot of wheeling and dealing. Um, what else can I tell you about him? He has played for Portugal. He's made 21 appearances in the national team, never scored a goal for them. He is my kind of player in terms of a player that I like to see because I like a good dribbler and a skillful player and someone who can drive the defense backwards and have some fear about him in the pace region. But I do fear he could end up being a Pepe, the Pepe that joined Arsenal from Lille a couple of seasons ago. Yes, that was 70 odd million. This won't be anywhere near that. But I do think he may struggle coming into the physicality of the Premier League. I, I don't know. I don't know. If Nuno wants him, then yeah, fine. But is Nuno making the calls? Remember, Nuno's a head coach and not a manager. But I am sure there have been discussions already between Nuno, Maranakis, um, Ross Wilson, etc. on who he wants in and a target shopping list. So I'm not going to get overhyped about Gelson, nor will I not be behind him if he comes. And it looks very likely that he will come. The other thing I will say is there's not really much interest in him from anywhere else because he's, he's going to be on a Bosman. So if people wanted to sign him up, they could get him on a free and start talking to him in January. But even that's not really happening. I'm not selling him, I know, but I'm just being honest about him. But he could be rekindled. He does work in the Nuno system. Let me give you some positives about him. He would 100% work in the Nuno system with width and pace available. That's what Nuno likes. He could bring some balance if Callum Hudson-Odoi isn't really going to cut it. And he could also bring competition to places. Would I say he comes in as a first team starter? Probably not. But at the fee of one or two million. 28 still in his prime he's not past it this could be a hidden gem or it could be an absolute flop we won't know until he boots up his laces and gets on the pitch but it's not done yet but it looks very close to being done and i expect forest to do a lot of their business at the start of the window i think forest want to clear the decks quickly for nuno reduce that squad squad size down to 18 to 20 players and then let him work especially during that break, because we haven't got many games in January. It will really give Nuno a chance to knit that squad together. And I think that's exactly what he wants to do. So the news is, it looks like Gelson Martins will be Nottingham Forest's first signing under the new era. What do you think of him? Let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to Forest Fan TV if you are new. Don't worry, we've got a Varchester United um, preview coming up for you guys very shortly. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you there. And as always, come on you Reds.